thing is when this muscle passes below to this, you know, this uh, coracochromial uh, arc, there will be a bursa place. It's a big bursa. Coracochromial bursa. So the coracochromial bursa gets compressed. People who are in a habit of uh, uh, traveling, let's say, or any such occupational work where they have to raise their hand above the head regularly. Like people who travel in buses and shuttles without being seated, they like you know they catch hold of this rods while traveling. So if people have this habit of traveling with their hands above head, or in case some other 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 professions, so there will be you know this subacromial bursa will actually stay compressed for a long time below to this coracochromial arc. So this coracoacromial bursa undergoes inflammation and that's called subacromial bursitis. So this person later on gets uh, comes up with a complaint of painful abduction. Painful abduction of the shoulder. Rather painful initiation. Like initial abduction will be not that much of a problem because initially this bursa doesn't get compressed. But when, he, when his hand reaches around at a 90 degrees, then there are like you know this bursa that gets compressed. So, because the bursa is actually inflamed, so there is a sign actually to check this subacromial bursitis. What is like the person is standing here in the divan, there is a person is standing with his hands like this and you have to palpate upon, you know, the acromion. I already told you that acromion is the most bony, lateral most bony prominence on the shoulder. You palpate upon the acromion. Below to the acromion, just you need to give a deep press upon that, below to the acromion. So there will be wincing on the face, tenderness, due to tenderness, because the bursa is inflamed. Now what you do is you passively make it, make his hand at 90 degrees. And then again you press upon that point, there, you know, this is this acro, uh, acromial arc, for acromial arc. After palpating the acromion, just below to that at the same point, you again give a deep pressure down. But this time there will be no pain. Because the bursa, when you take, you abduct your hand, the bursa along with the head of humerus is gone inside the coracochromial arc. So pain will be in the normal position, but beyond when it when a hand is abducted at 90 degrees, the pain at that same point disappears. This is called positive daw burn sign. D A W B A R N. Positive daw burn sign. That is a check for subacromial bursitis.